next question for Pat. Okay. I have one. So um, I've heard that there can be a delay in restarting benefits even when a veteran is released and promptly requests mm -hmm. the full reinstatement of their benefit. Do you have an anecdotal or any hard data that shows what the delay is in getting their full benefit back? It, I wouldn't say I haven't, you know, kept track, but I have a general idea that uh, I would say six months to probably 12 months is the typical on restarting their benefits. Some of that can be alleviated, you know, taken care of by providing uh, release paperwork. Sometimes veterans, they, they lose it or what have you. Some documentation from the, uh, the county. Uh, a uh, parole officer can help, but generally, even if you prime the pump, if you will, you do everything perfectly, the delay is still substantial and still is impacting veterans. We had worked in agreement with our regional office uh, to minimize that. We had some success with it because they would work those on a special case-by-case -case basis, but unfortunately, then the VA went to a, what they call the, we call it the national queue, where any claim that goes into the VA system goes to the most eligible uh, regional office, and so that lost uh, that that dissipated our basically our regional office's personal ability to really personally yeah. track those. Uh, they they did give it a good effort, and we had some success. I have one guy, for instance, that was released in I think he was released uh, to like the 28th of December of last year. We had his benefits started by the 15th of January, and then he's in my office. We filed an additional claims. We stopped his apportionment that was going to assume to be ex ex-wife. And we did all that within a matter of a couple weeks. So uh, right now our hands are kind of tied, but, but we have put some effort towards that. Right now I think the best thing that we can do in those situations, whether it's uh, reduction, reinstatement, or what have it, is to, to get it right when we submit the claim. So we submit the right documentation the first time. It minimizes development. We can wait waiting periods and a couple other things that help minimize the the uh, time lag there, but uh, that's probably the best thing we can do right now.